join us as we traverse through time and space on another episode of Whatever This Is. All right, guys, trying to film underneath the car while I shift just to see what happens. I don't know how the view is going to be. Let's try it out. I'm in reverse right now. I suppose I should put the e-brake on. I don't know. I got my chuck, so I'm good. All right, I'm in reverse, up into neutral, first gear. Second gear, third gear, and fourth. Go down to third again, up and into neutral, down to second, first. And that's reverse. I don't know if they can see that or not. We're gonna yeah, find you guys, out. I've been having a lot of trouble with these plates. So, this one is the copper. Uh, or the brass looking plate that's under there now. Now I have the whole thing kind of shoved over towards the driver's side now. Uh, playing around with these things. I'm going to try one more plate before I switch over to the scat shifter. Um, I kind of want to keep this, but I'm going to use the plate that came with it. And that one's a little bit different. So the plate on the right is what came with the vehicle when I bought it. Now, I bought the vehicle in June or something like that but um, the one on the left is the one that came with the new shifter now there's these like these tabs on the side it might actually help me uh, to uh, make an adjustment I don't know I also noticed that uh, this holes kicked off a little bit but both holes are bigger than what I've been dealing with All right, so we're gonna put this one in I got the brass one in that uh, is in another clip but uh, Let's put this in and see what happens. You remove one of these things, it's best to do it on the uh, passenger side. So, but you're gonna need a 13, let's see, 13 millimeter, which seems to be what everything is on this uh, on this bus. Oh shit, I got it like in reverse, hold on a second. All right, there we go, now we're in neutral. I'm trying to do it in neutral. At least that's what everybody tells me. Uh, yeah, let's loosen these guys up. Pull them out. Okay. It's just easier from this side of the vehicle. Of course, you want to probably press down on this thing a little bit to make it easier because of the spring. And I just heard the spring pop. There we go. All right, let's get this one out. Okay, you don't want to lose anything. Here we go. All right, so there's the other plate, the brass one. I'm not sure how I feel about this one, but we're gonna, I'm gonna use the other one. Put that in. And then you want the longer ramp on the side of the passenger. We'll see if those two little guys help me out at all. All right, let's pop this back in. that down. Get these old boys in there. I've changed this. I've changed these things up so many times. I'm getting pretty quick at it. Well, keep in mind, guys, I am not a mechanic. It's probably pretty obvious. So, these vehicles seem to be made for schmucks like me who don't have any mechanical, real mechanical knowledge to work on. All right, let me keep that. Somewhat loose so I can move it around and see what happens here. All right, first, second. Second, third. 
That's, that's where I usually have problems a second. Let's tighten this up a little bit. Right. Not too tight. First, second, third. Yeah, that didn't go in so easy. Let's loosen that up a little bit. See it reseats itself. Okay, turn it back up. We're gonna find out. Alright, third, fourth, first, second, third, fourth. Oh, that feels pretty good. We tighten it up. I guess we'll take it for a ride. Take it for a quick ride around the house. Right around here. I, know I don't have my seatbelt on, but there's gear. Sure is. All right. Okay. It's running a little rough again. Let me check that out. It's also cold, so. But, let me stop it right here and see if I can get into first gear. Oh my god. All right at. All right, so seconds over a little bit. Yeah, right, I'm gonna let this thing warm up and take it for a ride. But, so far, seems to be doing all right. Okay. Well, I got all that sorted out, finally. I believe we'll find out as the car warms up and I drive it around a bit more. Uh, but I needed at least to be able to pass inspection and in order to do that, the guy's gotta be able to drive it. So anyways, it's all like kind of a Zen thing anyhow, uh, this whole process. You know, there's a lot of nuances involved. Uh, you know, it's not like today's cars where everything's just, you know, cut and dry, you know? There's a lot of uh, push and pull. You can make little adjustments on stuff. <laughs> Didn't think the shift rod would be such a pain in the ass, but yeah, it is. Now I'm just avoiding putting the coupler on the back. I think the coupler's sound back there. I sh shook it around, checked it out. It, it looks good. There's very little space to work in there. But I always like think about that book, uh, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, where Buddha doesn't always exist on a mountaintop, you know? Sometimes he's in your shift rod. <laughs> 